Good afternoon, Gators. And welcome back to another edition of Swamp Talk. I'm Chandler. And I'm Mercedes. Today is Friday, April 6th, and now for a few announcements. Graduating seniors who plan to attend PHSC in the fall are invited to attend PHSC's Senior Blitz on Friday, April 13th. You must sign up in advance and receive permission forms from Ms. Cologne in room 210 or in student services. Attention seniors, the last day to complete online courses are April 27th. There will be no exceptions or extensions, so make sure you go online and complete any courses that you have left. The LOIHS Annual Art Show is April 10th and 11th in the Mini Theater during the school day. Come check out some of the amazing artwork our students have created. Prom is right around the corner, and anyone who is planning on attending should go to Mr. Mellon's Twitter and look at the dress code requirements. And now to Mercedes with some additional announcements. On Wednesday, April 4th, our lacrosse team won against Jefferson High School 5-4. Congratulations! Tonight's game against Lake Gibson is senior night. The game starts at 6 p.m. Come out to the Swamp and support your Lady Gators. Also tonight, Varsity Baseball plays Wesley Chapel at 7 p.m. at home. Tomorrow, the track team is at Cypress Creek for the conference championships. First event starts at 11 a.m. Here is a special segment for ninth graders, giving them advice for the future. I am Miss Garcia, and I'm the school counselor for the ninth grade class, class of 2021. So the advice that I'll give to freshmen for finishing out the school year is to uh, keep up your grades. Your grades start and, and your GPA starts this year. So it's very, very important that you keep your grades up and you start strong because it's really hard to build back that GPA up. Um, if you're starting out really low, you want to make sure you're getting the season higher because you need that 2.0 for graduation. It's really, really important that if you're struggling, that you come see myself or you go see Miss Campbell down in the media. We are your team. You can also see Miss Leeper. She's your assistant principal. Other advice that I can give to other classes, 10th, 11th, and 12th, is really the same thing. You want to make sure that you're seeking out help when you need it and you're communicating with your teachers and your school counselor because those are your rock. Those are the people that you're going to turn to when you are struggling or you need help because you really want to make sure you have all those graduation requirements and all of uh, that GPA of that 2.0 in order to graduate and move on and do something great with your life. Um, for testing, I would say make sure you um, eat a good breakfast, you use some testing strategy techniques, deep breathing, positive self-talk, you can do this. Um, the testing is going to be starting late April for the 9th and 10th graders. Um, you want to make sure that you're taking all of these tests seriously. Uh, the Algebra 1 and the FSA in 10th grade is the two that count for graduation. The other EOCs uh, that are worth 30% of your final grade would be Geometry, um, U.S. History, Biology, and that Algebra 1 count as 30% of your final grade. So you want to make sure you're going in there with your head on straight, you take it really seriously, and you do really well, which we know you will. Now to Jacob Brown with Short Sports. All right, everyone, welcome to Short Sports. I'm Jacob Brown. Today I'm going to talk about the Tampa Bay Lightning's push for first place in the Eastern Conference and also the Atlantic Division and about the NBA playoffs as well, starting with the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Lightning have two games remaining for the rest of the season. They are currently tied for first place in the Atlantic Division with the Boston Bruins. Both have 110 points, but the Boston Bruins have played one less game than the Lightning and have the same amount of points, so right now they're listed as the first place team. The Lightning have two games remaining against the Buffalo Sabres, who are the worst team in the NHL, and also against the Carolina Hurricanes. I think the Lightning have a legitimate chance to win these two games. If they don't, then they're essentially giving up first place. Now moving on to the NBA, the Toronto Raptors have a three-game lead over the Boston Celtics and an eight-game lead over the Cleveland Cavaliers and Philadelphia 76ers for first place in the Eastern Conference. Look for that to remain the same, but in the playoffs, that's all going to change because we all still believe that LeBron is going to go to his eighth straight NBA Finals. Then moving on to the Western Conference, the Utah Rockets have a six-game lead over the elite Golden State Warriors. I think if Steph Curry is healthy, the Rockets will still beat the Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference Final later this summer. And for this edition of Short Sports, I'm Jacob Brown, and we'll see you next time. Also, we want to wish a happy 84th birthday to Mr. Payne. Hope you had a great day. <laughs> That's all for today, Gators. Tune in next time for another edition of Swan Talk. And make sure to follow us on Twitter for more updates.